Alright you guys, it is that time again, Fan Game Friday, if this uh, fraps will stop lagging my balls out! If you're not familiar- oh, that's some other laggers. If you're not familiar with Fan Game Friday, it is every Friday I'm gonna start having some fan games where I will play on like different maps, King of the Hill style, and I've got tons of observers watching this game right now, and uh, whether you want to play me for fun, or whether you want to play me because you really want to beat me, or just because you want to be famous on YouTube, it doesn't really matter, I just get whatever fans want to play, I stick them all in a game. And uh, we play some maps or some matches on Metalopolis. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys will tune in for the next Fan Game Friday or show up for the next Fan Game Friday and get a chance to play me. Unfortunately, you know this map only uh, allows like 16 people to join, so I know I have to leave a lot of you out, and I'm I'm really sorry about that. I only have so much time for so many fans. So there's that. But this match is against Karen. I actually don't know what race he is. And apparently he's nervous too. <laughs> Don't be nervous, this doesn't even matter. And uh, for scouting overlord, of course, scouting close to air positions. And I don't know what race he is still. I, uh, normally I wouldn't scout this early, but I'm gonna go check and see what he is. I mean, I don't wanna fast expand if I'm like against a Zerg in close positions, or if I'm in close positions in general, fast, exp bleh, fast expanding is probably not a good idea, so. <clears throat> we'll see. I am at 15 right now, and I hope he's not there because I really do want to fast expand. Even if I don't, my pool's going to be so slow by now. Is he close? Good, good, good. Good, he's cross position, so that's going to be pretty good for me, especially since I don't even know what race he is. And all these little critters running around just mean that I've played this map way too much. That's about it. <clears throat> and I like to send my air overlord over here right away to scout out uh, his base. But you have to be careful against Terran because they can catch it out in the middle of the field if you're not careful. So hopefully he's not Terran, and if he is, hopefully he doesn't catch that Overlord because I, I think other Zerg players do, and I'm not really sure. And apparently one of the people in the Observer's place is Day9 in stealth mode. Okay, he's actually Zerg. He's expanding, so it looks like he went... He's probably went pool, no gas, with an expansion. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Uh, his gas is just now coming. Now he is Zerg. I thought he would be... A different race, but I guess not. I guess if you're watching me, there's a better chance, or if you're gonna play a fan game with me, there's a better chance that you're gonna be a, a Zerg, so yeah, there's that. And some of the people here are lagging, it's like his pool is down. Now I'm gonna go straight into Roaches. This can work as long as he doesn't go fast veilings, I don't think he is since he's expanding. And the cool thing about Roaches is you don't really get gas that early. <coughs> And so this gas timing is going to be pretty much perfect for Roaches. Throw down my Roach Warren and just drone up until I'm able to get a bunch of Roaches. He's going to be chasing down my Zergling, or my drone here. He shouldn't catch it. And I'm going to position my Overlords on the paths to my base here. And I'm not actually getting a second Queen right now. I forgot about that, so... I'll get that once I get enough money. There we go. I have no idea what these observers are saying. Uh, depending on the feedback I get after this video, after this week of fan games, uh, I will either keep or destroy the observer comments in chat because it is kind of obnoxious, I gotta admit. But, you know, I'll just wait to see what you guys think because I don't know <clears throat> if they're saying any funny stuff. I'm not really reading it. One overlord on the way. And I don't see any links. Notice how my overlords are blocking all the chokes, pretty much seeing everything he's doing. I've got one out in the middle as well. So it's always good. And right now, I don't see him being aggressive, so I am going to drone up. I'm not going to worry about any roaches yet. Looks like he's got a drone just kind of chilling. And I'm going to keep some zerglings out here just in case, though. So. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. He has an expansion. Looks like he does have a spine. Uh, he's getting double gas this early. Either he's bad or he's trying some really crazy fast tech. He's pulling all his drones. He doesn't want me to scout. I bet he's going to quick lair. Yep, looks like he's going to be going mutas. Um, <clears throat> that's fine. I'll just go fast and festers if he's going to do that. And I didn't need to make any... Uh, uh, what are they called? Roaches, so... He's not going to have really anything. He doesn't even have a Roach Warren. He might have some links, but I'm going to just beat him in economy. Uh, hopefully he throw down some more spines now that they saw what I see what he's doing. And I'm just going to go Infestors. Uh, quick Infestors. Maybe let's go Infestor Hydra. 
But I think his gas was really fast for how many drones he had, so he's not going to have anything but mutas, I think. And I don't see him going anything but mutas, considering you know, his timings, his gas timing and stuff like that, so... Drone saturation is pretty good. I could use a couple more on each base. Uh, I'm going to get three drones, or three roaches just to wall off. Uh, if I had supply, I would anyway. But I'm going to get infestors out first, just because with infestors and queens, you can stop the mutas pretty easily. And maybe I'll get an evolution chamber just in case he does get a... Or I don't get my stuff out in time. I'm getting an overseer immediately, getting my infestation pit immediately. And I'm going to take out this uh, overlord in my base. And drone up a little bit more. Get one more roach to finish my wall off. And still, I'm just making... Excuse me, I'm making a ton of drones because I know his only threat right now is going to be mutas. So I just need to stop the mutas. And then, uh, yeah, he's got like no drones right there. So I just need to stop the mutas and I'll be fine. I'm uh, going to get my hydrogen plus one attack. And uh, I hope they're not on the way yet. Yeah, he's just not getting his fire. So I'm in great shape right now. Decent saturation. Good saturation at my expansion. I just need a couple more at my main. I can't really get an expansion or a third base yet just because uh, he's got mutas. He's got the map control. Once I get some infestors out and maybe a spore or two, um, I'll be able to. So I'm going to throw down a couple spores. Did something just die? What the hell was that? That was weird. Oh, one of the critters died. That was strange. Once I hit 30, I'm going to start pumping out infestors, and yeah, this is not going to look good for him. I'm going to get uh, my speed for overlords just because I've got a couple out in the field. Maybe I can get them all at any time. <clears throat> and I will get uh, a couple more drones here just so I can get some more spores, and then I'm going to take my third base. Let me get another spore here, and another spore here, and uh, let's work on that third. My infestors should be out pretty soon. Uh, in time to help protect my third. So that's gonna be good. Good sat, good sat. Take that. And make a bunch more drones. And basically right now it's just gonna be Roach, Hydra, and Fester against Muta. And I don't think he really has a chance of winning, to be honest. And Fester's are out. He doesn't, he's probably got his Mutas on the way soon. Uh, he's got the Spire up. He still has terrible, terrible saturation. He's got an Overseer now. There is the Mutas. And yep, they are going to do some harassment there. Let's just send in my hydras and finish this off. Hydra and Fester. Yeah, he's done. And down go most of his enemies. Three hydras OP. But the reason I knew exactly what he was doing was his, his gas was way too fast, and then I floated in Saw's lair, and that pretty much sealed the deal. I knew exactly what he was doing, so... Um, yeah, I don't think any build where you go uh, those four gas so early is a viable build. It's just not worth trying. He's actually trying to do something in my main. He's trying to kill my queen. Okay, he might kill my queen, but he's going to lose like all of his mutas. This guy's crazy. Another fungal. Yeah, all of his mutas are dead. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Attack all of the things! Yeah, let's just move out. Killed my queen though, that's obnoxious. I'm running off my expansion now. Get a spine too, just in case. Gotta macro my hatch. Get my third hatch on my hatchery key. And I actually need more roaches. If you were to switch into like roach ling or roach bane ling or something like that, my hydras would kind of get stomped. So even when your opponent has mutas, you want to have a lot of supporting roaches. It's actually really useful. Just more mutas. Okay. This guy likes him some mutas. <clears throat> so I would normally send in roaches, but since he's still got a lot of mutas popping out, I'm just going to go uh, hydras. Actually, just hot key my queen there. There we are. And let's just attack before his spines get up. It should be pretty simple. Just make sure he doesn't come from behind and kill all my infestors. There's his beard as well. It's actually pretty nice. Caught almost every single one of them now. Fungals. Fungals is really good. Once your opponent gets infestors, you gotta stop going mutas. It just does not work anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed that. ZVZ matches for you. Hopefully, you get some uh, other matches here. Uh, 
following games. 